Thor issue 9 sees Dario Aga meet with Ross Solomon, agent of Wakanda, who is there because she called him, although he says he didn't. Days earlier, Okoyo is met by Roz in Wakanda, and Okoyo briefs her on what her role as an agent of Wakanda will be if she decides to join. Okoyo introduces Roz to the other agents, Kaza and Gorilla Man, who along with her will be working alone and undetected in inhospitable regions around the world, like the Negative Zone, Atlantis, and Subterranea. As well as a support team, Roz will have access to the best gear and weapons that the world has to offer. After seeing all the gadgets and gizmos Wakanda has to offer, Roz agrees to join. Roz's first mission takes her to Queens, where a building is giving off the same readings as a swamp in Svartalheim. The tenants have been gathering junk for the past week as well. Infiltrating the house, Roz finds a portal to Svartalheim, where Dark Elves have been gathering things to build a huge map of Manhattan so they can plan a full-scale invasion of the city. Soon a Bifrost portal opens up, but not from the Rainbow Bridge, and a Frost Giant arrives. In the Bronx, Jane is called by Roz, who wants some info on how to take down a Frost Giant that she is currently fighting. Jane wants to know why Roz is, and she reveals she got a new job as an agent of Wakanda as she fights the giant. Jane implores Roz to call Thor if she is going to be fighting a frost giant since she can't kill it herself. Because of this, Roz remembers visiting Avengers Mountain where she is asked if she wants to have quarters near Thor, but thanks to their past relationships, she doesn't think that is a good idea, especially now that Thor is seeing She-Hulk. Jane tells Roz to put aside her awkwardness with Thor and call him, but Roz says that Jane doesn't understand since when Mjolnir was just sitting on the moon and before Jane picked it up, Roz tried to lift it but couldn't. Jane says that no one could lift it so what does that matter but Roz says that it matters to her since it's all she has and if she can't do this on her own then what is she doing? As Roz is strangled by the fire troll that joins the frost giant in attacking her, her Wakandan car arrives, firing off missiles before being caught by the frost giant. Uttering a code word, Roz activates her car's one-way teleportation system, teleporting herself and the troll and the frost giant to the Lut Desert, where the giant begins to melt. Ross says that it's going to die, and that the giant better start talking while it still can. A short while later, Thor arrives, learning from Ross that Malekith is building his own Bifrost, and that's how he has been moving around the realms. Thor is more concerned with the fact that Ross killed the frost giant, but she says the earth killed him. She did, however, shoot the fire troll. A surprised Thor wants to know what happened to her, and Ross says that she's only gotten real good at her job before leaving. In the present, Roz wants to know why she was contacted by Dario Agar. The villain says that he never called her and feigns innocence in knowing about a coming war with the realms and with Malekith. Roz considers killing him and making sure he isn't part of the coming war, but she instead leaves. As she does, Ulic arrives and both he and Dario head through the Black Bifrost portal to meet with Malekith to continue to plan their realm-spanning war. As they arrive, Cull Borson spies on them, relaying what he sees to his brother Odin, whom he asks when he can become the god of fear again and slaughter some elves. Thor issue 9 was a really cool War of Realms primer that fleshed out Black Panther and Okoyo's new agents of Wakanda even more from this week's Avengers issue, specifically Rosalind Solomon's job, who is kind of like their primary agent of the new organization, since she's probably the one who had the most ties with S.H.I.E.L.D. back in the day. I enjoy that every so often we get an issue of Thor that kind of has a spotlight issue on a supporting character, and this issue was no different, and broaching the subject of Rosalind's past wrongdoings and her relationship with Thor was really well done. I'm loving the build up to the War of the Realms, and I can't wait to see what else Jason Aaron has in store for us before the event kicks off later this year. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.